a little trouble getting out. Okay. So, this video, I will be giving you guys my morning routine. Good morning to you. Not exactly a full day in the life, but you'll get what I do in the morning, and I'll include my first meal in it too, just to give it a little spice. Um, but yeah, first things first, I gotta go number two. Clear out all pathways before the day starts. Now that I'm done taking care of my business, make sure you wash your hands. And then after, I am fully naked, after I do my business, I like to check my weight. I do it every morning, it's an OCD thing. You don't have to do it, you shouldn't do it, I don't advise you to do it, but I do it. Okay, 283 this morning, not too bad. So I think it was 282 yesterday, I believe. So that's not bad. Let me suck you. So now, I always drink one liter of water before I'm gonna cut them out. Before I do anything, I just feel like, you know, drinking a good amount of water before your day starts kind of gets the body rolling, metabolism rolling, gets everything rocking, so helps with digestion as well. So that's why I do it. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> because today is my off day, um, and I feel like with the style in which I'm training now, I don't. I feel. I feel. I don't need to do as much cardio as I used to. So, um, I will do some in the morning. Just a light walk today. Um, I alternate between bike and um, treadmill. But I also have stairs coming to the house soon, so that that'll be fun. But um, I don't really go crazy hard intensity, just because I feel my intensity within the training in which how I do things more um, frequent now. I just feel cardio just overdoes it at this point. So I've been pulling back on that a lot and I see my body respond a lot better. I don't hold as much inflammation. Um, even digestion is a little better. Um, so like I said, if I do it, it's just a little 20 minutes light, nothing crazy, um, just to get the body rolling and then that'll be what I do. Okay. And also before I do low cardio, I do like to take a little bit of the bean, just five milligrams. It helps with a lot of stuff. Blood flow, energy, fat burning. It's a good daily supplement. This is the cardio room. Now, we're upstairs, so we'll move this down, this, this down, show sure we'll do that. And then the stairs will we'll go here. Yeah. Okay. Something's missing. Oh. Oh, is, is this your way of the introduction to what I just got? I don't like to be flashy. But let's show you guys. I traded in the Corvette. And that is the new baby. I, I, I fit in it a lot easier, so. The Hellcat Red Eye. And uh, she's a beauty. I love her. Not as much as I love Maria, though. So I wanted to get rid of the Corvette to begin with. Um, I just, it sat in the garage. I didn't really use it. And honestly, it was just, I think last year when I got it, it was driving it so much. I think I, I, hurt, I was hurting my knee, <laughs> getting in and out of it some way. I'm not. And so I wanted something. Um, Functional? Well, comparable, but something I could get in and out of when that was bigger. And I used to have a Challenger at one point so I went back and got another Challenger but a Hellcat version 
and it is a monster. I love it. No, I, it's like a kid in a candy store. I love cars, so yeah. Now, this may not look like much, but for a big guy like me, I'm moving. I'm moving. I can promise you that. How long do you do this for? Um, I was like 20 minutes. I mean, I think it's good. Uh, like I said, I do cardio not as intensely as I used to. So I do feel like, you know, when you're training so hard, no matter if you take a certain amount of rest days, three, four, whatever, cardio can still be very taxing, whether it's intense or not. Um, especially, you know, being bigger, holding a lot more muscle, you know, not to talk shit on skinny guys, but they can go a lot longer than someone who's my size. Because they don't, they don't have that weight, they don't have that, uh, muscle capacity, so to speak, that they don't fatigue as quick as I do, so. Mm -hmm. um, the harder I train, the more rest I'm gonna need. Um, and sometimes cardio plays a role in that recovery in a negative way. Um, so I'm still a person trying to find the balance of recovery, the frequency, how hard, and I've, I've gotten it down pretty good at this point. Um, I'm getting a lot better at it, so. Do you find this is better on your knees than overall? What? Um, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I think it's, it's not intense, right? It's just a nice little walk. Um, get everything moving and grooving. See, honestly, you know, a lot of people will spread this out. You know, they'll do a, a 10 minute walk three times a day. Gotcha. Yeah, I just get all that I want. But, I mean, yeah, it's light, it's easy, it's simple. I don't mind it. Big boy can move. I'm just waiting for the sauna to heat up. Um, cool, you know, I have my own sauna here, which all of you guys could have your own sauna from, um, we got this from medical saunas um, to uh, infrared, so it helps a lot. Um, I, sometimes I prefer this over cardio. Um, it's just, you know, you break a nice sweat, you get the benefits of, you know, eliminating inflammation um, and just taking all the stress out of you. Increase heart rate. Increase heart rate because you're sweating. So I think this is very beneficial and I think everyone should Incorporate some type of, even if it's not infrared, so just sauna into your daily um, regimen. And I think it's very, very good. And if you guys are interested in your own medical saunas, just go on their website and you can use code MUTIN. Excuse me, you literally out the hot air. Goodbye. Bye bye now. <laughs> Alright, so now that we're done, it's on action. Normally we go to Starbucks, but today we are at Dutch Bros getting this little one, a Dutch Bro Pup Cup. And I want to show you guys what I like to drink from the Dutch Bros menu. Nothing special, but it's fantastic. So Stay tuned. It's usual. All right, so got my coffee. We got a small um, cold brew with two stevia, and I only did like a half serving of the sugar-free caramel sauce. The full serving is a lot better, but a half serving, that's all you need. It's plenty. I love sweet, but now that I'm, you know, really trying to Make sure I keep my stomach in check. I go for the half. And half doesn't really, you know, fuck with me at all, so. And it tastes fantastic. And as you know, I love my ice. So once this gets to about here, I'm gonna start chewing the ice. 
and that makes it that much better. <laughs> okay, so now, after that morning routine part is done, I like to come back and have my morning green shake, aka my poop shake, which consists of, I use Revive GI, and I'll use Revive's Daily Greens chocolate. And then I'll use HD Muscles Glutamine. I like to do this, the glutamine early in the morning, empty stomach. It just helps speed up recovery and also aids in digestion. Four scoops, 20 grams. A lot. A lot. Oh, wait. Okay, so we take a full serving of the Vita HD every morning. I normally kind of put them all in my mouth at once, but since I'm talking, take sip, take and sip. And the next we'll do a partial serving of the Kidney HD. We'll do the other serving later in the day. And then we'll do liver HD. Do the full serving. And then we'll do K2, one pill of these. This is also new that HD just came out with. And then they have D3, which is 2000 IUs per pill. So I will take three. For six thousand, and then I take this uh, citrus bergamot. But AC just literally came out with theirs. Um, I have not received mine yet. So until mine comes, we will use this brand. But. I cannot wait to use HDs when that finally comes in. And then always use a little baby aspirin. And then vitamin C. I'll do about 6,000 a day, so this is 1,000 per pill. I'll do three in the morning, three in the afternoon. And you can get all these subs on the HD Muscle website, guys. And you can also use code Nick for a little discount to Rooney for you guys. Um, like I said, they now have um, the citrus bergamot that we'll be having omegas come out very soon. I know they have the beta HCL now if you have a little stomach acid reflux problems, which will help clearly with that. So these are extremely great products. I mean, I've gotten my blood work done on these and I was very happy with what I saw. So these products definitely work very legit. Um, so I'm going to finish my morning poop shake and then I will show you guys what I have for meal one. Um, on an off day, and then that will conclude my morning. Trader Joe's raw almond butter. If you have not tried it, you'll thank me later. It is the best. All right, so that is good. 
the morning routine. Pretty much get up, take care of business, take my morning, you know, drink my water, do my morning cardio, a little sauna, coffee run, morning poop shake. And then you see what we got here for breakfast. We got some mega fit chicken, a little bit of flavor gang, cream of rice, frozen blueberries, almond butter. And then that's pretty much what we do for the morning routine. Um, hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I do in the mornings. And, uh, you know, like, subscribe, and we'll see you for the next one.